data seems to be a really huge part of the way that Hyper runs. I know that you've, you've mentioned before to me off camera as well about how important data is in your business. So mm -hmm. you look at it across all angles for the decisions that you make in your business to decide, you know, just yeah. decide what kinds of apps to get made and yeah. the, the decisions you're making in terms of clients and marketing, everything like that. So yeah. how do you use the data across all levels mm -hmm. to sell your products better? Yeah. So I suppose uh, you're building a, a business and uh, you know getting to that 10 employees um, uh, it, it, 10 employees is quite easy. You can micromanage, um, you can touch and feel them, and uh, you, know, you, you don't have to be too data driven. But yep. as soon as you get past that and you start scaling the business, it's super important to understand, for instance, you know, uh, the sales and marketing team. So when it comes to data, let's look at the sales team. Uh, well, let's go to the marketing team first. You need yep. to be able to firstly look at you know, how much ad budget do we have for the month. Um, then you know, what is our cost per lead? What is our cost per sale? Uh, and then you know, the cost per sale may be $1,000. So you've got to quickly identify um, you know, what is the product and service we're selling and what it's a, is it priced at, factoring in the fact that it costs $1,000 in ad budget to get that to client. To get to that point, yeah. Uh, and then you know, the, the BDM, for instance, this salary as well, factoring that in. And then uh, being you know, data-driven in the, uh, the sales department, communicating on a daily basis with the, with the um, marketing department. So you know, the marketing department needs to see the data and see, needs to see how quickly a lead will get to say you know, a tier one or a verbal. Um, and that's super important because that can then go back to the, our data scientists will identify, you know, 70% of leads uh, didn't get to a verbal, whereas 30% did, and then be able to identify with those leads and that data exactly where they came from and increase those budgets, for instance. So, yeah, yeah scaling, scaling a, a business, you have to become super data-driven. Data Otherwise, you're playing too many guessing games. Well, on that, I guess, too, in an emerging market, you know, you're making apps all the time, you, yeah. new fields, new discoveries, mm -hmm. new ways of doing business. And for example, Facebook changes its algorithm all the time as mm -hmm. a, you know, as a marketing platform for how you, you know, manage that data. So you need to, you mentioned having a data scientist. Is yeah. that something you'd recommend for a lot of businesses when they get to a yeah. certain point to say, you need to be able to really have someone who's yeah. smart with all of this to be able yeah. to do it properly? Definitely. Yeah, when I remember I was running the, the Facebook ads myself, our uh, cost per lead was $150 and that led on to probably having a cost per sale of, you know, four or $5,000. Um, you know, our data scientists in Europe are absolutely amazing. And they've now got our cost per lead down to $35. So there's a huge difference. And you see, you know, over a 12 month period, the amount of money the business will save and the additional leads we get from reducing that cost per lead is just staggering. So what would be your advice for businesses at different stages about how much they need to invest in, you know, data and analytics and be really across that, you know, from a, a small business to someone yeah. who's in that growth period to someone who's hit a bigger point and they're much larger. Yeah. You know, at, at what points do you need to yeah. be really across that data? So at the start, just educate yourself and create the spreadsheets. If you spend $2,000 on Facebook ads in a month, you know, understand and, and create a spreadsheet outlining, you know, what's your cost per engagement, cost per lead, all the way through to your cost per sale. Um, I would say one of the first hires uh, would be a, a, a growth hacker um, accompanied by a, a data scientist, um, especially once you receive funding, let's say it's you know, $200,000, you need to spend that money wisely because yep. investors will not give you another cent unless you've spent it wisely and you know, your cost per sale is down, your cost per leads there. So uh, yeah, I'd say growth hacker and, and data scientist, the first two hires. Good to know. And yeah. well, then what about using data to uh, make KPIs and targets and everything yep. for your employees internally? Yep. How do you then reflect that data you've seen out there to make sure your staff are performing the best they can? Yeah, exactly. So let's say the sales department, for instance, you know, it's important to set those KPIs so you, know, so you don't have to micromanage them as well. And, and uh, let's say uh, our business consultants, they know that they have to make X amount of calls a day and they'll get onto X amount of uh, decision makers and then they'll book X amount of meetings. Uh, and when we ha hire new business consultants, uh, we'll know what the average is. You know, if they speak to this many people, this is how many, how many meetings. So you can quickly identify whether they're, they're doing a good job um, you know, and hitting their KPIs. Uh, and then through to the BDMs that uh, you know, have to sit down with a certain amount of people and then tracking the, the close rate. So if they sit down with 100 people a month, that they're typically going to sell this, uh, this many you know, 
sales. Yep. So yeah, I'd, having those KPIs and, and being data driven is just so critical.